but our story is about a young superhero who finds her power and the bad guy tries to steal her power and actually does steal her power and then we see what happens because of that and then at the end we see who wins good versus evil so this isn't your average dance show really is it because you you know quite often you have dance shows where there'll be a little bit of this a little bit of that but there is a a running story throughout this where did the story come from yeah so um someone had an idea back i think it's about two years ago that we do superheroes um i think it's one of the girls at the studio michelle i think she loves superheroes so we um she kind of said can we write something um so we just put pen to paper had a go and came up with uh yeah move it to the rescue and there's nothing cuter than two-year-olds in capes so we went with it oh <laughs> two-year-olds in capes there's 17 two-year-olds in capes oh, do you know what it's <laughs> worth it for that isn't it just to see that <laughs> absolutely brilliant yeah and louisa i mean you've you've been in the sort of dance realm and also cheerleading realm for some time now so uh, tell us a little bit about what we can kind of expect from the routines and things that are going to be going on so much we've literally packed every single dance style that we offer and there's a lot of them so we go from ballet to freestyle to modern to tap to cheerleading everything it's it's really good fun it's quite gymnastic sounding it does sound very energetic <laughs> to us, yeah, yeah it does i know it's going to look quite spectacular i think this and all the costumes and everything as well so yeah. about how many uh, pupils are involved in this so we've got um around 140 um, so our youngest is two years old, um, little Nancy, and then we've got our um, older girls, which I think our oldest is over 60. Um, so our There's range is yet. amazing. Um, and some are beginners, some are complete beginners in the adults, and some are adults who danced as kids and wanted to come back and do it again. So it's such a lovely little mixed family, really. It's ace, yeah. Everyone gets a chance to to shine, basically, and be at the, on the up front of the stage, so... So it's a real spread of ages there. Have, has you, have you seen an in, or an increased interest because we've had lockdown and obviously it's a bit of a funny old year? As a sort of, have you seen more people taking up an yeah, interest? Yeah, in we kind of when we first went back after lockdown, we we kind of predicted that the, there would be like a, a panic or a worry and everything else. So we had all our COVID procedures in place, um, but we found that everybody wants to do something. I think everyone appreciated what we now have and have kind of jumped on it. So most of our classes have actually been full. Um, which is brilliant Um, and our new timetable starts in January but we've had our rehearsal schedule um, for three days and then three recreational days so now then once the rehearsal's over our mainstream classes will open again. So exciting Mm -hmm. and Louise you've been sharing these fabulous posts on your Facebook over the past sort of week or so introducing the different characters and it sounds like they've each got a fabulous personality to portray as well. Exactly I mean we've Obviously, we get to pick the students that play these parts and they all really fit their characters and they've really like taken on board their character and it's great. So, yeah, we've been drip feeding little bits of information about each character and what you might expect from them in the show. So it's been really exciting. It's going to be quite the dramatic event, this. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, so before, I just want to talk to you about a couple of other things, but before we do, just remind us when and where the actual Move It to the Rescue show is happening. So that's this Friday and Saturday. We've got um, evening performances from 7 o'clock and on Saturday matinee at 2.30. Sounds Aww. good. Isn't it? Is it suitable for anyone and everyone? It is. Um, we kind of want to make sure that it can be a show that anyone can just turn up to. You don't have to have children in it to really appreciate it. So it is an enjoyable performance that anybody will enjoy. Oh, yeah. that sound great. And while you're here, Louise, we have to ask, because I know you're very heavily involved in cheerleading, there's been quite the success amongst you guys with cheerleading this year, hasn't there? Yes, definitely. I mean, obviously we haven't been able to travel across for our usual competitions that we would, but the teams that we have are still looking super strong. Um, We did an online competition as well, which was with Cheer Dance UK. So we were supposed to go away in September for a competition for this, but actually one of our own won um, first place in um, one of their categories, which was Dance 4, which is one of the sort of harder level dances. Um, And yeah, did really well. Someone someone quite close to home, Kate. Yes, (laughs) Um, my daughter, Ellie Kane. So she won the um, 16 and under Dance 4, so... That was a scream moment. Oh my god! Go and look at the look 
they're selling you for one? She's so like, when no they, way. So when they do it, because I always imagine cheerleading is like big towers of people and everything. But I'm guessing, do they do they do it sort of individually? Yeah, so that's stunting. So that's okay. cheer stunts. And then we've got cheerleading. So if people don't want to do the acro side, they can just do the poms, which is cheer dance. Or with Louisa, we do um, the stunting, which is the basket tosses and flying through the air and all that sort of scary stuff. So exciting. There's she- lots of that in our show. Oh, so you'll see all of this in the show, Move It to the Rescue, this weekend at the Gaiety Theatre. It just sounds fab. Do you know we missed a trick, H? Go on, go on. We should, we should have asked them to come up with a cheer for late lunch. <laughs> no. Well, it's a challenge. Give us an L. It's a, it's a challenge. <laughs> should, you, should you be bored after the show's finished? <laughs> OK, we'll send one in. We'll get the kids to do one yeah. for you. Oh, that yeah. would be amazing. That's the best option. Yeah. 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 That would be a quite thing. And that just, again, another great example of the old man punching, you know, way above its weight when you think totally. of how small we are. And then, you know, going into a UK competition and here we are again, top of the tree. Yeah. And when yeah. it's not actually been going on that long really over here at all, has it, no, cheerleading? No, no, no. Because yeah. our studio's been open for six years now and we only really started it four years ago. So for our students to come along that far is, is showing that we really have talent over here. That is awesome. Well, remind us where we can find out about Move It itself then, about the dance studio. Yeah, so our studio, um, moveit.im, has all our timetable on there. Um, we have a fancy system called Mind Body, so you can actually just click and book into a class, um, read a bit about the styles and the teachers, and you can select which one you want to do, or um, just give us a call and we'll book you in. There you go, H. Challenge. I'm throwing it we your do way. Have, we do have adult classes. We do really? modern, adult beginners ballet. Wow. Do you have many guys in there? We do have some men, yeah. Definitely get them ballet I'm tights out. I'm looking at you, Howard. <laughs> don't, don't. She's forever doing this. She, she just wants me to sort of <laughs> fail at something again. No, go on. You're yeah. very you wouldn't good. fail. You no just have way. an amazing teacher. Yeah. Oh, well, that's true. That is true. <laughs> well, listen, it all sounds fantastic stuff. Uh, just give us the contact deals one more time. If anyone's listening, they want to get in contact with you, find out more about what you do, the cheerleading, the show, whatever else. Yeah, so if they want to join one of our classes, visit moveit.im. Or if they want to book a ticket to come and see our show this, weekend it's at villagaity.com